Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with a binomial distribution using Python and using the math library that comes with Python. Um, most often people actually use the SciPy library, so that's also easier to use. So if you're interested in that, I have a separate video on that one, uh, so you can watch that. But if you don't want to load for some reason the SciPy library, this is how you can still get the binomial distribution. I'll focus on the uh, probability mass function and the cumulative density function. I have the formulas in the Jupyter Notebook. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And I'll just focus on how you can actually calculate those. So um, I will allow myself this time to use the math library. And that's needed to have the combinations, which is actually the binomial coefficient. And I will be using, uh, as an example, a number of trials of 10, a uh, number of successes is 4, and the probability on each trial of 0 0.3. Now, the, the binomial probability mass function is this formula over here. And as you can see, this part is actually the uh, binomial coefficient. So for that, we can use simply that com function from math. And this is just uh, the probability raised to a certain power times 1 minus that probability raised to the power of n minus k. So this is that binomial coefficient over here times the probability to the power of k, that's this part, times 1 minus p to the power of n minus k, which is over here. So to the power of in Python is two asterisks. Um, oh, I might actually need to restart my kernel. I keep on forgetting that today. I don't know why. Uh, restart kernel and clear all outputs. So I'll load in math. I load in my examples. And this little function here will now calculate for me the binomial probability mass function of 0 0.2001. So this is the probability of having four successes out of 10 trials if the probability of success would be 0 0.3 on each trial. So you can imagine uh, having a die where, for example, the chances of rolling a 3 is uh, 0 0.3, so an unfair die. You roll it 10 times and you're interested in rolling that uh, value uh, f uh, four times out of those 10. Now to uh, get the cumulative distribution function, we simply need to sum up over all of these. In here you see a little function which is operator, which is the floor operator. Uh, usually k is actually an integer, but just in case it isn't, uh, we need to use that. Uh, it in essence means to round down if k is uh, a positive value and uh, round uh, away from zero, if you will, if k is uh, a negative value. Now k should actually be an integer anyway, so it's the number of successes, so that should never be able to be negative, but just in case. In some situations, for some reason, it might be not an, uh, an integer. So um, the map library actually has the f this floor function in it, so we can simply use it. And the rest is all the same. So we just loop for our um, starting at 0, which is default if you do a range. So it starts at 0, and it needs to end at this uh, result over here, which I do here, the floor k. I add one because uh, the range is excluding the upper limit, so that's why I add one because it does need to do that k value itself as well. It then simply keeps on adding that uh, binary, um, the binomial probability mass function, and it returns nicely our p value. So we can use a small test for this, and apparently it's 0 0.8497, which is therefore the probability of having four successes or less out of 10 trials if the probability of success would be 0 0.3 on each trial. All right, uh, and that's how you can uh, come up with a uh, binomial probability mass function and cumulative function. Uh, I'll explain in the appendix, I'll leave a link to this notebook in the description below on a little bit on how those formulas came to be, but uh, you don't really need to know all that uh, in order to use it, but it's sometimes good to know where things come from. All right, I uh, hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.